Is there a reason to disable N key rollover? Reading over the features of a DOS keyboard, I see the following. Gamers and fast typists will love to hear that DOS Keyboard 4 supports full N key rollover, Uncro, over USB. No need to use a PS2 adapter anymore. Just press Shift plus Mute to toggle Uncro. Why does the keyboard have the ability to toggle Uncro? Is there any reason why you would not want Uncro? The reason appears to be for older motherboard support. I contacted DOS Keyboard, and this was the response they gave. Thanks for taking the time to contact us. The reason for Encro toggling is because some older motherboards don't understand or get Encro over USB. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the simplest way to put it, so that users with older motherboards can use the keyboard over USB without issues. Of course, they could use a PS-2 adapter to achieve Encro, but since the world is all about USB nowadays, not everyone would have access to a PS-2 port on their machine. Aside from old motherboards, most KVM switches won't work with Uncro keyboards. There's a long discussion at this URL about the technical reasons why Uncro sometimes causes problems. The TLDR of this discussion is, Uncro is most likely to cause problems with biases and KVM switches. These problems are caused by cost-cutting measures rather than being inherent to Encro. 6 Cro is fine for any ordinary use, including most gaming. The most illuminating comment in that discussion thread is the following. The USB standards don't say anything specific at all about keyboards or mice etc. in any version. It's the HID standard that does. The 6 key plus modifiers report structure was only really intended to make life easy for BIOS, so they didn't have to pass report descriptors, but became a de facto standard for keyboards regardless. However, the HID standard allows for all sorts of different reports, and all major OS support it fully, so there's no need for extra drivers. The other limitation is that a low-speed USB data packet can only be a maximum of 8 bytes. A report can be larger, but that starts taking a significant amount of time to send. The USB standard only allows a low-speed device to send one packet every 10 milliseconds, per endpoint. OS typically nudges that up to 8 milliseconds, i.e. 125 hertz, without hacks. Taking up to 16 milliseconds to get a key press to the host would be crap. So we've had a phase of makers trying to get more out of low speed chips than they can really handle, with tricks like multiple endpoints etc frown. Full speed USB frees up those limitations. Each packet can be 64 bytes, and can be sent every 1 millisecond, again, per endpoint. This allows the HID standard to be used to its full effect. Finally, Encro isn't done just for the sake of it. Doing full Encro requires only one bit per key, rather than one byte, and doesn't have to treat modifiers as a special case. So a keyboard can send for example 104 keys in a mere 13 bytes. Using the other scheme 13 bytes would only manage 11 Cro, 11 keys plus modifiers plus one reserved byte. Sure, that's still plenty of keys, but it's far less elegant a method, and still not 6 Cro, so it could still be incompatible with dumb hosts. Encro prevents Ubuntu working with Linux key modifiers correctly too in some cases, not all, but some. So the ability to toggle is invaluable for daily drivers of Linux.
If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.